keynote can be an excellent way for students to showcase their knowledge on a particular subject or topic in a way they haven't been able to previously. In this video, we're going to look at the ways in which we can use Keynote to create this very simple but effective Earth Rotation Dark Side of the Moon animation. Now this is just a series of objects and animations grouped together to create this animation that shows why we only ever see one side of the moon. As we go through in the slide that I have created, and I'll put a link to this in the comments below, but in the slide that I've created, I simply have a couple of objects. I have the Earth as if it was looking from um, the aerial view. I have the moon and I have a dotted line showing the rotation. Now, what I've done with each of these is I've made sure to align them to the center. It's a good way to make sure that you're in a good position. For the Earth rotation, I'm just going to tap on it, tap animate, and I'm going to choose rotate. Now, I'm going to make this 28 seconds and I'll explain why in a minute. Maybe you can work out why I've done it as 28 seconds. If you, if you have, let me know. But as we're looking through this, I want this to rotate in a 28 second period. I'll keep it at anti-clockwise and the angle that it rotates, I'm, I'm not worried about. The next one is I'm going to create a path for the moon and the moon's going to go around this dotted line. Now it's actually a good idea if you have a circular object that you can place on the screen. I have this circular placemat that I've just placed on the screen and then use my Apple Pencil or your finger to trace around. What's important here is that it's an object that doesn't register as a touch. Something that's cardboard, plastic, avoid anything metallic. If you have a 360 degree protractor in class, that's a great tool to use just to get as close to a regular circle as possible. Now, in order for this to go nicely, it's a good idea for students to explore animation and happening at the same time. So I obviously want this to take the same amount of time as my Earth rotation, 20 seconds. And as you can see, it's aligned to the path, which means at any one time, all you're really going to see, or all you really should see, is the light side of the moon. You will never see the dark side of the moon, it's always there. But what we do notice is that what we see is based on the darkness of Earth. With, you know, so students are beginning to explore this in a kind of practical way. Now I want this to happen with build one, and I want build one to happen after transition. That just means when I press play, the animation is going to happen automatically. It means if I export it as a GIF or export it as a video, I don't have to worry about effects. Now you'll notice here that the earth is spinning at a slow rate. So what I've actually done here is I've not put in the number of rotations. Now 28 seconds, I want that to symbolize, symbolize the 28 days, which means for every one second, the earth should rotate once, one day. Now what should happen is as the moon takes 28 days to rotate around the Earth, the Earth will have rotated 28 times on its own axis. 24 hours in a day, 20, you know, you get, the, you get the connection here. But in class, the impact on this, the visual, you know, and instead of having pupils going out and looking and trying to trigger it, they create their own animation. They can export it as a GIF. They can put it into a Pages workbook. They can do a number of different things with this one simple animation that allows them out of the box on their iPad to showcase their knowledge and understanding of a topic that isn't always necessarily accessible to them. Something like space, it triggers the imagination, but it's not always accessible to all learners. So using Keynote, we get that impact, we get that engagement, and we're able to use it in a variety of ways to showcase our knowledge. So that's creating a moon rotation around the Earth. Give it a go. Be sure to let us know how you get on.